This year saw the 10th anniversary of the Capital Challenge and London came out to see some rugby league in the City Square Mile. The London Scholars would take on a Wigan Warriors select team in the first year that the pre-season fixture hadn't featured the Broncos. The fixture was still, however, a celebration of rugby league in the capital and the double winners attracted a bumper crowd. Joe and Boo's Scholars side faced a youthful but dangerous Warriors team containing Super League players Anthony Gelling and Jack Murphy. So the Championship 1 outfit knew they had a tough task at hand. Give everything you got and don't worry about the rest. Scoreline, don't care. Just make sure we're ready. Make sure we do everything as a team. Make sure there's no blame. Make sure there's no, hey, if someone makes a mistake, just go and tap them around the back and go, yeah, let's go again. I've got you. I've got your defence set. I've got this, def this defensive set. Don't admit defeat. Do not admit defeat. Just because we've given away a back-to-back -back penalty does not mean they deserve to score a try. If there's such thing as a zone, make sure you get in that zone, whatever that zone is for you. We've got a minute or two to get our last things done, then we're all out. It was the Warriors who led at the break, 18-0, when we took the opportunity to talk London Rugby League with some very interested spectators. It's a shame London Broncos aren't in it again this year, but uh, it's massive for Wigan to, to kind of um, up the profile around London and as you can see it's one of the biggest crowds they've had down here. Um, played in it last year and it is a real good game and it's, it's good to get into the, to the heart of London and um, maybe get some fans that you wouldn't necessarily get outside of it. Absolutely, I think that uh, you know, rugby league in the capital is thriving at, at grassroots. I know that the Broncos have you know, had their troubles and woes and I know the Scholars are, are trying to strengthen and you know, this is a, a good you know, match for them. We saw all the hype during the World Cup and that, that was very positive and I know that uh, participation numbers for rugby league in the capital and all over the country are up so that is uh, the legacy of the World Cup and what the World Cup has done for the sport. I think London is very important to Super League, to rugby league general. Uh, I've always been a great believer that we need to be successful in the capital and we're very successful with youth rugby and with all the other aspects of rugby league at the lower levels. We just got a few problems with Broncos but Scholars are strong, the connections that they've got in the city are excellent, the sponsors today are to die for in terms of Rugby League. I think it's great. The, the turnout is phenomenal, it's a weekday and we're watching Rugby League in the heart of the city of London. Uh, regardless of conversations and debates that are going on around in pubs and so on right now, Rugby League is alive and well in the capital, just look at it, brilliant stuff. Although it was the Warriors who won out on the pitch 48-0, the overall winner on the day was undoubtedly London Rugby League. The plan is to, to, uh, to expose the game to the capital and, and, and you know, to, to preach the, the Rugby League gospel as far as we can, you know, and wherever we can. And, it's a great opportunity and uh, yes, it's a massive day for the club and, and I'm glad that Wigan were here to, uh, to take part in it. Well, hugely important. This is our capital of our great country and you know, if we can really push things here, which I'm hoping we can, uh, it would be great for the game. You know, we need to be strong in London and uh, we need to be strong everywhere because we've got the best game in the world. And uh, you know, it, I'm just really glad that as, as a club we, we got behind this event. You know, it's been a great day. We've had a few days here, and you know, it's, it's great to, to sell the Wigan brand down here as well, and, and, and be well known in, in, in our big city. You know, my opinion, my personal opinion has always been, you know, the wider the, the net is, you know, the more we have to choose for in, in our international game. You know, and you, you only look at have to look at one of the two, two Super League. Uh, players that London produce have gone to Wigan, Tony Club and and Sargison, you know, and uh, again they're all London players, they're all London born, and and again that just shows that there is talent. Uh, we just need to give players and people the opportunity to show that talent.